Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and right now, we are at war with Los Altos, in which we shall hopefully beat them up and have a good old time. But right now, we got to remember that Havana is the capital just because we might have some militant people rising up relatively soon because I may or may not have played this a little bit off screen already to see what could happen. And let's just say it didn't go very well for me. But we need one engineer for our arties. So one engineer, four arties, what do I have? One engineer maybe? An engineer, yes please? And four more arty pieces, but we have no more arty pieces, which is kind of sad, but... Actually... Um, actually, we need that. Oh, there you go. Cool. But well, hope you guys are having a good day. We have a couple comments to go through, including, to increase industry, go socialist. We could, we very well could, but... Uh, once you start going socialist, you're pretty much going to remain socialist, which kind of sucks. Which is still kind of okay. Oh, here's some patriots that want to rise up, and they'll be dealt with very soon. And I'm thinking an army over here just in case, because you never know when Cuba might explode. Up next, uh, let's see, apparently we can change our national value, which we will talk about in a little bit. And apparently the Ainu are an indigenous ethnic group in Japan. And you guys are completely correct. I wonder if we could, um, take them out maybe. Demand concession? We do have quite a bit of infamy, but 90 days, uh, sea territory to form a colonial expedition. Annex one of them. Ooh, that might not be bad. We might be able to get annex them. I prefer to annex them. So five, we could try that. Let's try that. You know, what? let's try. We're making quite a good, good amount of money. Fifty percent tariffs, not bad. We get some war indemnities too. We're honestly doing not to oh, get found out immediately. Huh? Uh, denounce it for now. Become a little bit more reactionary. That's fine. And here are our national spirits. We're trying to get some more bureaucrats in Illinois. Oh, uh, we got some bureaucrats, bureaucrats. Just a lot of bureaucrats. So it is what it is. But suppress us now, yes. And, oh, we have some stuff over here as well as over here, too. But we do need a lot of money because for our decisions, in which we'll talk about our uh, national value right now. So right now, we are on might, which is not bad. Land starting experience is pretty good. Naval starting experience is pretty good. Army tech research is doing pretty darn well as well. But we can change to Dominion. Our nation is strong. Our borders are inviolate. We shall march into the future together, humbly accepting the knowledge that our nation is the envy of the entire world. As well as we embrace the idea of... Uh, uh, Good old supremacy. Our nation, our culture is astounding. Our military might is unparalleled. Our industry is dazzling. Soon the rest of the world will know of our might and shake as we step onto the wider stage. In which... So, let's talk about Dominion first. So, we get months, less monthly war exhaustion, better leadership modifier, less supply consumption, worse factory owner cost, more RGO output, less assimilation rate, which we currently have the same amount of assimilation rate, so it's not too bad. Mobilization size goes, mo mo mobilization size goes up. More mobilization impact, though. Consciousness and non-colonial non -colonial goes down. And naval starting experience goes up by five more points. And to get more research tree, or tech tree research. So, supremacy. Get even more monthly war exhaustion decay. Even more monthly, or leadership modifier. Even less supply consumption. Worse assimilation rate, which is about the same. But you get less immigration attraction. More mobilization spies, but impact is worse. Less populace, militancy for your entire country. Better land starting experience. M way more army tech. Uh, research, but less culture research was not bad. But we also have, uh, it's down here. Oh, we can also buy the Virgin Islands, which I want to save up some money so we can buy the islands and embrace the idea of glory. Ours is a great and powerful nation, possessing freedom and strength that other nations can only envy. We shall boldly stride into the future where our great destiny awaits, which will give us less monthly uh, war exhaustion, better re re leadership modifier, which is exactly the same. It's actually very similar. Everyday needs for poor, rich, and middle class does go up. Assimilation rate will be the same. You actually get more immigrants here. Being Having might does not give you any immigrant attraction, but this will give you even more. Mobilization impact size is plus 100%, which is a little bit more than here. Mobilization size what we currently have is 6%. This would be the same size. Militancy for non-accepted does go up quite a bit, which I don't like. You still get plus 5 land and naval starting experience. Exactly the same. We get currently a bonus to research for army, but this will increase navy as well, which is what we can use. And someone did recommend we embrace glory. However, we cannot just because we're not liberal. So, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, we could go Dominion, which would not be bad. It does increase what? You don't get any more immigration, which does kind of suck. And you lose the army stuff, which does kind of suck as well. Leadership modifier goes up by 5 more percent. Um, I think we might want to wait, though. I think it's best just to wait for now. We get more prestige, but we do for a while, for about 10 years, hurt our prestige, research points, pop militancy, and consciousness. So I think it's just best to wait. So that'll be fine. We can silence election events as well, but we'll kind of wait for now. Cool. But let's keep going on. Let's keep on going, because we need to make a bigger military, stronger military. And since we want to buy the Virgin Islands, the US is, well, the UK is doing okay. Uh, we saw slavery as well, which is not too bad. 
Oh, we can't increase the relations because we only have so much, so many diplo points. So the Kiel Canal. So we'll start constructing the Kiel Canal. I wonder who it could be. Probably Germany. And I'll show you what's going on in Europe here too. Suppress Central American right. Leave the SUB. Oh, there you go. So right now, the Third Russian Restoration of Order to the Poles, and the Serb Liberation of Austro-Hungarian Vojvodina. And this is the world. This looks not great. Oh, and they started attacking the UK. Sweden has. Wow. And Austro-Hungary looks really, really bad. But we make no concessions to threats of violence. Not bad. Uh, we're still making a lot of money. Trademarks are nice. Permanent prestige because of Karl Kautsky. Kautsky is pretty good as well. Oh. Oh, we have got our boat. Uh, I did say I want to leave him here. But let's send him over and see what happens. We really need to get rid of, our, rid of our man of wars. That's going to be a while before we get over there. So good luck. We could really use another navy too. Oh, we could really expand our naval ports. Can we build any other ships yet? No, we can't. Monitors, hulls, ironclads. I guess we'll make one too. Uh, an eight. There you go. And screw that. Let's also build a lot of these two. Steam transports. There you go. That'd be nice. We have a total population of 52 million, which is pretty good, though. Uh, if you like about this, please go ahead. I don't want to lose prestige. There you go. We will not interfere in local businesses. No siree. And let's do that. And let's do that. And you guys are looking okay. We just need an engineer and three artillery. One, two... Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. We'll get there. But we're going to finish up Combustion Engine and hopefully buy the Virgin Islands. That'd be nice. War Rubber's been found in Warrior. Very, very good. Making a lot of money. And then I'm going to cut down on Jeff some more. Natives are restless. If you like it about that, please go right ahead. And happy new month. And we do have quite a bit of infamy, so we got to really keep cutting that down for now. Oh, we'll get another month, and then maybe we can take it out the Ainu, Ainu, something like that. So, General Wilton Law is dead. I'm not sure who he was, but he's gone now. And Pierre Joseph Proudhon. Cool. Licensing Act. Influenced by the intensive lobbying from the Te Temperance League, one of our states has adopted a licensing regulation that allows residents the right to issue or retract liquor licenses in the local districts. With strong public support, the Licensing Act has thus prohibited the sale of liquor throughout the state. Many local breweries that have been denied the right to sell the product locally have been forced into bankruptcy. They are free to, they are free, the locals are free to do as they see fit. Forced to repeal the act, they can do whatever they want in their own lands. Instead of Sonora, we don't believe in Mexican terrorists here. Everyone loves it here. Alright, let's keep working on commerce. Let's get some administrative stuff, because it gives us more money as well, because we could probably really use more money. Alright, so how do, can we do this regarding, oh, the prohibition. More moralism. Uh, corporate industrialism, that's kind of cool. By the island. So we can do this anyways. Oh, why is it unchecked? The Virgin Islands were originally inhabited by the Arawak, Carib, and Cermic, all of whom are thought to have perished during the colonial period. The owner of the islands is St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Crow. The Virgin Islands are looking, we are looking to buy are poorly managing them for decades, and now they're costing them money a lot. There's still some elements that resist selling the islands to us, but with the right conditions, we might be able to make an offer they cannot deny. Uh, we could try it, yeah. Did we get him? Oh, I found him on right. We got him! St. Thomas, very nice. Now, was it worth it? Probably not, but that's okay. Oh, there's quite a few Danes here, and Carabin... Oh, wait, aren't... These guys are our core po population, right? Yeah, primary accepted. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. That's great. Immigrant deported. Oh, no. That's... Oh, well... I... Okay, okay, then. Well, whatever. Isaac Bragg, very cool. Very, very nice. Keep making some ships, because we actually need a relatively okay navy. And have our guys come over here yet? Oh, yes, hey. Cool. And can we call our allies in? Yes. Including Germany. Very nice. Hopefully the British don't want to get involved, but you never know. You just never know. First of the poll, yes please, we should outfit expedition. Now we're going to save a little bit more money. Let's get up to 100,000 pounds first. And then we'll start cutting down tariffs a little bit more. There we go, pretty good. And our ships are still looking not too great, but that's okay. Lazy natives need to learn to adapt. And we will go back to War with America, because we can do that in 1898, which would be good. Alright, and that's actually a good port for us, so. And then we'll attack here, too. Uh, what's your attack like? Plus five. Uh, these guys. Blood and Roses. Oh, if you want to about that, please go ahead. Lose war exhaustion. More jingoism, please. Thank you. Emigrant riots. Eh, whatever. They are what they are. Alright, let's see what happens. 
Not doing as much as I thought we would, but hey, let's go with some good school systems. Nice. Very, very good. Sure, Egypt. Sure, we can have an alliance. Hey, just cut off a few thousand of them. That's all. Hey, Germany showed up. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Admin efficiency goes up. Oh, we got a lot more money now. All right, so if that's the case, we're going to need to spend a lot more money later on. Let's lower it to about 30%. We still get a lot of war indemnities, too, which is very nice. Panama can out dividends, and we got the tech done. Uh, let's get some investment banks. Why not? Factory cost goes down. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, hello. Hello. They assume leadership of the war, which is fine. I don't really care. The war is almost over anyway, so... Actually, I might leave this army here. Because Japan, this time of year, is probably pretty nice. Can't food, food. Cool. Oh, Jim, they actually showed up. Nemuru. Very nice. Elections. Very nice, very nice. Fourth in the world so, so far still. Is that it? Oh, we gotta wait for these guys. Kill them all off. Yay, we got it! We got Confederate Japan! Ah, oh, doesn't it warm your heart seeing that? Actually. Japanese infantry. Japanese infantry. Artillery. And some engineers. I love the Japanese. Oh, that's actually a really good province. We'll put you guys right there. That's fine. And you guys hang up for now. Um, there's another one here, really. Oh. Great. Great. Um, let's make sure we still have a good old base of operations. You guys are doing okay. You guys, eh, you might just stay there for now. I might send them back. We'll see how, how, how rebellious these guys are, so. Against the government, that's not good. Good, we can make some airplanes as well, which is very, very nice. A first minister appointed. More research points, plus 20%. I'm sure it'll be perfect for the job, which is great. Thank you, Germany. Danke schön. I'll give us one more month and we'll head on out. Because these guys could still repair quite a bit more. Because when we go to war with America, we're going to need every single soldier available for this. Slaves in the Spokane factories? Yes. Alright, boys. Let's get it back on the boat. Good luck over there. I think we need more... Something? What else do we need around here? Oh, there you go. We need one more... Wait. Engineer. No, artillery. There you go. And we've got a fleet. It's not great, but it'll work. So I'm going to send you over to Louisville. I want to cover all these provinces over here. If we lose Texas, whatever. Um, you guys are still up here too, huh? That's not very good. I'm going to have to reform you guys. And we need more naval bases too, so... Yeah, actually, I could have, should have been doing that a little bit earlier than before. Save or debate. We're not going to reform it. Nope. We just need more money. It's always money. Never enough money. Yeah, keeping slavery is very expensive. Very, very expensive. Hmm. You can electrify. Great. Let's do that and let's get ready to go to war. Actually, oh, more tax efficiency is very good. But, America is actually very strong still. So, surge of liberalism. We're probably going to have to mobilize first, actually, because like I said earlier, I, this is my second attempt doing this, because America gets extremely strong with all the people they have, so. Oh, Festival of Mardi Gras. Well, the city of New Orleans has always had an association with the Festival of Mardi Gras, a Christian cultural celebration taking place prior to the season of Lent brought to the area by the French Catholic colonists, naturally. It is meant to be just a single day celebration, but in New Orleans, the raw, colorful and energetic Mardi Gras can last for several days more. Mardi Gras is recognized as an official state holiday in Louisiana in 1875. Let the good times roll. Nice. Very good. Hmm. Oh, do we need... Where are they? Oh, we're still waiting for this one to get done. Nice. And we have still have 18 infamy, which is not very good, but whatever. Kaboom! Yay! Kaboom! We're right below Florence! Oh, Germany's number one! Look at that! Nice. There you go. Now they want to attack us. Are we allies with them? No, they were not. They might still attack us. Yeah, the only thing carrying them through is their industry. For America. Nope. I'm not going to get involved because I already know what's going to happen. Look at all these guys. I'm not fighting the British Empire and Italy. You crazy? Yes, they are. Automobiles, very nice. I guess we're going to have elections here too. Factory cost goes down, even better. Oh, we just finished elections with Wigs just one. Which is fine with us. Don't really care. And... 
Very soon we will have this done. Oh my goodness. That's why I didn't want to do this. Look at that's why rebels down here are very bad for us. Very, very, very bad. Head over here because we're going to help out in Cuba. Hey, tax efficiency. Nice. Hmm. We can do this one. Oh, input. It doesn't cost that much, so. There you go. Head on down to Cuba. Provoked by this drobo. All aristocrats? Aristocrats inside the peasantry. So take arms and poverty, starved and hungry brethren of Puerto Berrios. In the name of our lord, in defense of eternal rights, let us drive the occupiers out of our native lands. Local aristocrats in Puerto Berrios are arguing revolution against our rule. We could confront them now, but then again, it might be better to wait for another opportunity. Kill them. You want to do stuff like that? No, no, no. Come on, let's hurry up. Let's move, let's move. Denounce them, become more reactionary. That's fine. Try it again, because we're making enough money for that. More tax efficiency. Yes, please. Good. Flashpoint tension somewhere. That's fine, whatever. Good. So many dead. And was it worth it, Rebels? Was it really worth it? No, it wasn't. First tractor. Oh, clear. Nice. Truly, it is. And just in case, we'll send you guys here too. Lemon. Back on the boat. And actually, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. But hey, at least we don't have to go around South America. Oh, wow. That's bad. All right. You guys need a horse? Uh, get an engineer. You guys are looking really bad here. Holy crap. Get another guard. Anything else? Yes. You guys looking pretty good. Come on up to Detroit. We'll go here first. Not bad. You guys looking okay-ish. Leave one army around here. We have the other navy here too. Oh, you guys are doing whatever you need to do around here, huh? Yeah, let them do whatever they need to do first. That's fine. Do we have rebels over here? Hopefully not. There's a lot of liberals here in Carafuto. Nice. And dividends, thank you very much. So now we still got to justify on these guys. Hopefully we can still do okay with these guys. Um, take Puppet. Uh, we want to acquire a state. So that'll be good to do. Fourth restoration of order to the poles. God dang, you guys really don't want to kill... You guys really don't like them, do you? Oh, well. All right, everyone. So I did say I want to go to war with America, but we did get a free war goal against Mexico. We don't have a truce with them. And we can cut them down to size, so I figured this is probably not a bad idea to go to war with them now, since if we wait to go to war with America, they get stronger, but we can get stronger as well. We get more industry by taking out Mexico, more land, more resources. So I figured, you know what, we're here anyways. Let's figure out what we want. Do we want Durango, which is 62 score, or Chihuahua, which is 73? We'll probably want Chihuahua, just because that's a little bit more score. I think we can probably do squeak through that one. And we do get four prestige by doing this, so we can call our allies in, will everyone accept? Yeah, except for Egypt, which is fine. Honestly, we can't take too much. So, even calling our allies in won't be too bad. So, there we go. Let's go right on in. And have a good old time, shall we? Because if we're not having a good time, what's the point of doing it, right? And we got two armies here, so come on, San Luis. Everyone's decided to join us, except for Egypt for some reason. And, cool. Sure, why not? And we're also waiting to get some gas attack, basically. Alright, uh, we're not doing as well as I hope we would so far, but that's alright. Help them out. Because these battles are now very kind of risky to do. Just because of... Oh, wow. Ho! Oh, holy crap, we're killing thousands of Mexicans a day. Now we're losing thousands as well, but... Yeah, this is, this is going to look crazy. Uh, so we lost 23,000 versus 34,000. Not too bad. Uh, we're going to the T word next. That's fine. Maybe follow them? Oh, now we're in defense. We're actually so fast. We're faster than them. Getting to their own country. Not bad. Sorry, Mexico. I got personally nothing against you. We love Mexicans here. But, we might need some money, too. Alright. Well, we actually lost more than we actually won, but whatever. Let's take Mexico City if we can. Are they attacking us? Yeah, they're attacking us. They got a really good dice roll, though. Oh, they got some rebels, too. Not bad. Militant socialists. Ah, yes. Not bad. Head on down. And head on down, and head on down. Alright, we won still. Very, very good. Oh, we're fighting the, these stupid rebels, too. It's fine. What happens if we come into here? 
We're fighting the rebels. Oh wait, Mexico lost to the rebels. Well, okay. There you go. And uh, just in case, I'm gonna send you back up, actually, up to here. Turn it over. Not bad. New storm blue fields. Very, very good. And we still have well, actually not too much of me. That's not too bad actually. Mexico City, and then head on down here too. Oh, Japan, sure, yes, please. Cool. Morale's not super high, but that's okay. We'll fix hopefully all this stuff up soon, very, very soon. Durango, that's fine. Very good, very good, very good. Native Russus, if you liked about that, please go right ahead. And we do have how many, uh, how many research points do we have? Almost a thousand in restore, anyway. So there you go. Not bad. Mexican Patriots. Well, I guess that makes sense for you guys to ride as a now, but no, it's not attacking to the mountains like that. Uh, yeah, they're right there. That doesn't remain too much to us. Thank you. And send you back over here to Detroit. And there you go. Cool. Not bad. Where are you guys headed up? Headed to? Uh, if you guys want to, you guys, yeah, that's, that looks pretty good to us. All right, wave colonial unrest. Don't really care too much, because we will have to manually just fight against America. But I decided Mexico is better for now, just because of what we're doing. So we can't peace out with them because we gotta wait for Germany to do so. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Mm, head up there. There you go. You might lose actually, but whatever. You might do okay. Maybe not. We'll see. Hey, you might want to head over there too, because can. Oh, they avoided the situation. Okay. If you want to do about that, please go right ahead. Trinket subsidies? Uh, sure, why not? We can have trinket subsidies. We're not going to give you any subsidies, but you can have them. First Rector and Rosarito? Alright. Oh, we want anyways. Cool. Three, three Jewish list? Nice. Uh, head on back up here. I don't mind keeping one army around here, but... Yeah. Doesn't mean too much right now. This little regiment. Lazy need lazy natives need to learn to adapt. And I'll send you guys down there. Ah, you guys go there first, it's fine. Still got a strong Mexican army here. Oh, look at that! Okay, we wonder about that. Oh, okay, so we we won. Cool. So without success, we try again. And what happened? Hey, we got reparations too! Awesome. Now we're looking not too bad. Uh, I will say this though, because we're not looking great, we gotta get ready to go to war with America as well. Yeah, some of these armies look really, really bad. But my goal right now is to have an army on every single state bordering America. Because we do want to go to war with them, and we're going to probably suffer a lot of casualties doing this, but whatever. We can go straight through the United States. Cool. How are we doing over here? You guys are okay. Uh, go to Chicago, and then you will go to Champaign. I've been through there before. I'm going to ignore all this area. It's probably a bad idea, too, but really, this area is much more important. So, Staunton, you guys need at least one more infantry, which we should get from uh, Mexico. Thank you. National Spirits, how are we doing down here? Uh, could look a little better. Could look a little better. Could look a lot better in Illinois. Whatever, though. It is what it is. Missouri is basically done. Missouri is done. Um, Missouri is finito. A lot of these places... Nebraska isn't even a state yet. Wow. That's pretty bad, I'll be honest. That's pretty darn bad. Idaho. They're working on it down here. They're still working on it, too. Trying to get bureaucrats in. Of course, then again, we're not spending that much money on bureaucrats, I'll be honest. We're already at 98.3% efficiency, which is pretty darn good. We're, and look at that. We're the most prestigious power in the world. Doesn't make you feel good. That makes me feel pretty darn good, so. Um, and now we're going to just fight a war to take a state. 11 infamy, so no matter what, we should be able to get through this. Please don't, please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Okay, woo, woo. Now we can get caught. I don't want to get caught, but you never know. Uh, sure. Actually, for this war, uh, I think from here on out, we might need to take one uh, state at a time. But I might extend the end date of where we end up with this campaign, so. Uh, let's go with uh, that one. That's good. Cultural enrichment, good. More plurality, more prestige. And when we get caught, but 24.5 is not too bad. Bragging rights, thank you. Money-wise, not too bad. A lot of military spending already. Tariffs are at only 30%. We're getting reparations from Mexico. I mean, I'm feeling pretty darn good about this so far. The Panama Canal, of course, is done. And we're allied with the good old Germans. I guess the French have gone completely communist now. Yes, sir. Yes, they have. And America has a ranking above Italy. That is a little sad, not going to lie. But, you know, just in case, happy 1900, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. 
And I think for this war, I think we'll go to war with Indiana. Just to start cutting them off further and further away from the Midwest. Yeah, that'd probably be good. The girl from Madison. We'll see what happens, because I already know that this is quite a bit of cost, but still. Ooh, that's not looking too good. How are we doing here? We got... Still waiting for that last trooper to be made, huh? Yeah, Monclova. That's fine. Anywhere else we can make more soldiers. We're a very military-focused group here. This looks really bad. That's a lot of socialists. I don't like that. Uh, three, one, three. Let's grab another one of the... Mexico. We'll make more soldiers once we get the other one done. Which would be good. Truly tis. First tractor in Baltimore. Very nice. Because we will probably mobilize almost as soon as possible. Oh, and who discovered the Great Wars? Japan has discovered the Great Wars. That's not good. <laughs> nice. Immigration riots. Immigrant riots. Whatever it is. Whatever. Mission to the US of A? What are you talking about? Foreign cuisine. Lower some more consciousness, please. We do not want any more riots or anything like that, please. Man, it's taking forever to make this. Oh, oh no, it's coming over. It's finally... Uh, it's finally... Eh, it's being made. It's fine. Trying to get me a bureaucrats really sucks. Truly tis. Oh, 1900, my bad. Let's make sure we get military directionism. Because right now, we have how many research points saved up? None? Hopefully we're dumping them all into here. Industrial R&D. Less factory cost is good. It's very, very good, actually. First tractor in Leon. Very awesome. And here we go. Go, 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 baby. Nice. We have no one in Washington. We gotta get some people in Washington, too. That'll be good. You guys looking really bad. But I think over time, as long as you guys are still there, you'll be fine. Yeah, we have no armies around here, which is probably a big old mistake. We have our fleet over here as well. Not bad. Oh, Japan is not allied with us, but we do have really good relations with them, so... We'll see. Japanese and Ainu? How's the nationality working for right now? I don't think we have a lot of Dixie over here, but that'd be really cool. Overall, it's looking better and better. Even this part of Arizona, Phoenix, is becoming more Dixie. Oh, San Diego is majority Dixie. It used to be Dixie and Mexican, but now it's majority Dixie. This used to be majority Texan, but now it's majority Dixie. Wisconsin has parts of majority Dixie, as well as Iowa, and even Michigan. Even the, the very Yankee Tennessee is becoming much more Dixie, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Look at this. We got very good schools. We got very good healthcare in the CSA. You gotta love the Confederates. <sighs> and what do people want right now? The people want good minimum wage, while the voters want pro-military moralism. And also good minimum wage. I'm not against that at all. It helps lower consciousness, so I'm, I'm totally for that. I'm totally for that then. Cool. And you guys are looking not great. Yeah, some of these pops really need some more time to flesh themselves out. Ottoman. Oh boy. Um, if it's against those guys, yeah, I, I'm gonna say no just because I want to lower infamy still. So here, have an alliance. Ah, I love diplomacy. Yes, second Olympic Games. Yes, please. Oh, did Germany break their alliance with us? Please, Germany, we need you. No, they didn't. Um, we're allied to the Germans, the British. The French. Not bad. <laughs> Alright. Okay, then. I'm okay with that. Hey, our guys showed up. Great. We're going to need you guys here. Come to Huntington. Now, can we make any more armies? Because we're looking pretty depleted in some areas here. If not, that's okay. We can get rid of this. And we need one horse and one infantry. Get a horse. And get an infantry. Take that one off, and instead throw it right there, because they need it. That'll be good. Got a lot of money. Maybe we'll make some forts around here. I don't know. As, as long as we keep getting more real core territory, it'll be okay. Boiler explodes. Tragedy struck San Fran today when a steam boiler exploded during a routine test in the machine shop contracted to build it for the local steamer factory. Seven workers were killed in the explosion, and several thousands of people, pounds worth of equipment were destroyed. Local officials are investigating the working conditions in the shop, and hopefully these accidents can be avoided in the future, but for now, San Fran, Moorns are dead. Uh, yes, reimburse the windows with pensions. That'd be good. That's, at least in my opinion, probably the right thing to do. Mechanized mining? Great. Forts cost a lot. i do that too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You guys could probably use some... Actually, you guys already have a lot of forts here. I don't want to spend that much more money because we need to save some of it. 
But overall, I would say we've done pretty well. They are seventh in the world. Yeah, their prestige sucks. I mean, we're, we're the most prestigious nation in the world, which is awesome, but still. And we actually created a navy. It's not a very good navy. We're still using stuff from the mid 1800s as a navy, but that's better than nothing. Hopefully, get some gas attacks soon, and let's get some army NCO training. More morale, max speed. I love to do anti-rationalism. Trust me, I would. But if we're gonna go to war soon, I want to go to kill off these guys in the north, and we're gonna call all of our allies in too. If we can only take one state, so be it. It's just because there's so many workers. And at this point, America can probably mobilize millions of men to fight in our armies. So this is going to be a little bit of an issue. I'm really considering maybe we should mobilize first before we even go to war. Oh, did we get it? Can we go to war now? Oh, we can. Cool. I, okay, so Colorado's 40 score. Indiana is 40, 58. Oh, we could do those two. Give me one more month. One more month. Oh, that's fine. One more month. So I can get lower the infamy just a little bit more. And... Hmm. Do we mobilize now? We might need to. Uh, we have almost every tile covered. Almost, but not every tile. And we're still waiting for these guys to finish here. So... That's not good. I do want to contain these guys as well, so instead, let's just do this. These go right here. Let's mobilize. That's really bad for your economy, but it is what it is. Converge on the center, and then we'll continue just keep doing this for a while. Oh, we can integrate Texas. If you want to go to that, please go right ahead. Yes, please. We heard our infamy. That's all right. Okay, 1901, we'll, we'll invade. There you go, 48 divisions. That'd be great. Cool, and look over here. Nice. Conservative support went down. That's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Bragging rights plus one. Very good. Cool. And I'm going to throw you guys up here too. Panama Canal dividends. Very nice. Well, 69,000 is pretty darn nice, I'd say. Go to Wichita. And we can also do Argentina. We're doing a good war very soon, but that's all right. All right, my friends. Well, we can try it. Probably won't go that well, but we'll see what happens. We're going to lose a lot of our money. But what else is new here? There you go. Uh, stay here for now. Give us one more month. We're going to lose a lot of money doing this. Let's go. Yeah, a little more strength. Call everybody else in. And honestly, I'd rather get Indiana because it's 58 score. Even though, like, Ohio is 71 score, Uruguay is only 20, New England is 37, Massachusetts is probably really industrialized, as well as New York, but Indiana, just because of the way it's set up and where we can see right now. We'll probably ask, oh, the UK will not come in. Neither will the commune of France. Or Egypt. That makes sense. Uh, let's even go in immediately, actually. That'll be good. Come to Pittsburgh. Come to Harrisburg, because they do have a lot of guys right there. They're not very well-versed. We, they don't have a lot of, a lot of organization. Uh, you know what, I, mm, go in, go in, screw it, go in, we'll try it, there's going to be a big risk. They don't have a lot of guys there. Alright, our guys have honored the alliance. Egypt. Where's Egypt. Well, whatever. They don't have a lot of organization, which is great, great, great. Siege them down as fast as you possibly can. You're already there. Actually, go head on up here. We're losing thousands of men by the day. Oh, God, that's so bad. Okay, not bad. Bad of Indianapolis. We actually lost quite a few guys doing that, but not too bad. Carlos Spain goes bankrupt. All right. I guess it makes sense. Go figure. We're probably going to get attacked here, so you guys don't do that. Um... Philadelphia would be really nice to get. And I knew they would attack us. I knew they would. There you go. Good, good, good. Throw them in here. Look how many guys they mobilized. This is why we mobilized earlier on. Oh, you guys send it down here too. That'd be good. Anything else going on? There you go. 36,000. Throw them over here too. Nice. Very good. 
32,000 of them died there. Good. They're very organized here, but they don't have a lot of soldiers, which is nice to see. Take Philly and such. Wichita, where are these guys headed to? Pueblo? No. Suppress us. We need no new terrorists, please. Thank you. Those guys would die. We just take the, took, took this tile. Very good, very good. Uh, we are attacking them there as well. They've taken out Washington, D.C. again, but... Why is this taking so long compared to everything else? Pittsburgh is good. Add on up to here if you... Oh, go there. I don't... Yeah, I seriously don't understand why it's taking so long compared to other places here in Indiana. Let, us, let them attack us somewhere here, hopefully. Airplane? Nice. Airplanes would be very good to get. Very, very good. We'll replace the horses with those guys. And they're attacking us. Oh, that is not good right here. But they don't have a lot of organization. Kaboom! Oh, and they're attacking us down here, too. All right, then. Oh, and they're attacking us up here, too. All right, we'll go there. And you guys go right there. See what you can do. And head on up here, too. These guys must have some sort of good attack. They are sieging us down very, very quickly. Do they have engineers on everybody? They might. Uh, can we get Colorado as well? That's still 40 scores. So that's good. That's okay with us. Because Just because you can siege people down doesn't mean you can win, win the war. So, Head on up here. Every single... Yeah, I don't understand. We're on defense, and they still beat us up like that much? That's a bit extreme. I don't know. I think the AI does cheat eventually in the end game, but that much is bit, might be me. Uh, they don't have a lot of strength. How many men? That's 40,000 divisions. That's a lot. I mean, they're, they're sitting us down. Ex they're, like, they gotta be cheating. They really do have to be cheating here to kill us off this fast. But whatever. Mm, let's get more of this. There you go. Alright, so he goes over here too. That'd be fine. Uh, throw up there. Well, don't throw up, but do what you need to do up there. More still blockading them, which is nice. Anything else around here? It's kind of a meat grinder, but whatever. Ah, that's a good battle, Philadelphia. There you go. Um, head on to here. We gotta just throw you guys at these guys. What the hell is going on over there? Well, that's not good. Um, I'm sitting down south here. That's fine. Rose and blood. Let's lose some organization or some war exhaustion. Yeah, seriously, these guys are cheating. They have way too many. That makes no sense how fast they can do this. The speed at which they can move and take out other provinces literally makes no sense. There you go. Head on in, guys. Alright, another 20,000 have perished from this earth. It's just good, good, good. Another 50,000 have died of the enemies. Very, very good. Head down through here, and then go through there, and then go up to there. Battle of Pueblo is very nice. There you go, guys. Oh! Hey, we got Indiana. Nice. Oh, we didn't get Colorado, which sucks, but whatever. Let's see mobilize. There you go. But hey, that should improve our industrial score, right? Now we've lost a lot of money, but at the same time, we didn't lose that much. So, we didn't lose by quite a bit. And because of a score, how much... Indiana is the most prosperous factory or, or power right now that we have. It used to be Illinois, but since we took it away from these guys, that just made us richer and better. Nice. And actually, we're going to get ready for the next war against Mexico, too, so... It's Mexico, then then USA, then Mexico, then USA, which means now that they have slightly less population to mobilize for the next war, which is good, 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 good. And was it Little Rock we did? Yes, it was. We need another uh, military division right now. Yankee, thank you. Beautiful. Oh, we cut America down to size. They wanted that one, that's fine with us. Not bad. So we really need to spend some time and just kind of hang out because, well, we have a lot of infamy. Oh, you guys go right down to Richmond. You need some help. You guys are okay for now-ish. Now I'm going to keep you guys down here as well. We do need one more infantry, infantry as well. We're going to grab that from. There you go. And Indiana's fully ready for us to go, so. 
Uh, did Germany break their alliance with us? No, they did not. Would you like an alliance? No? Okay. Sure, why not? America's still considered a great power. Huh, weird. The th oh, well! You'll beat a country hard enough, they end up going fascist. Go figure. Hagerstown, and then you guys come down to Wheeling, and then you guys come down to Huntington, then you guys come down to Mexico-ish air territory? Yeah, why not? Beautiful, my friends. Not too bad. We didn't get as much as I wanted to, but taking Indiana is a big, big thing for us. My state right now. Alright, anything else? Coming to France. Colombia. Burma. Because we can, because why not? Oh, wow. Where are we over here? How's, how's Europe looking? Alright, not too bad. Pretty normal. Nothing really has happened here, except Spain is getting killed by the UK. And it looks like the Russians took more territory away from the Ottoman Empire, which kind of sucks for them. Africa is still a giant mess. But it is what it is. What do you expect, you know? Man, things cost a lot of money. I don't know if you knew that, but things do cost a lot of money. Oh, baby boy. Oh, what happened here? Oh, we found a fascism. It's so generic. It's just called fascist. <laughs> so when's the next war we can go to war with these guys? I, I'm kind of considering going to war with Colombia, but we need to lower our infamy just so much more. Just so much more. I do not interfere in local businesses. That's not a good thing to do. Uh, you guys will be fine. Alright, how are we looking down here? Um, yeah, probably do that. Cool. And you guys are not looking good either. You just need so much more infantry. Alright, let's see. Native American, Yankee, and Polynesian. Yeah, that would be good. David. There you go. There you go. There you go. Cool. Costs a little bit more money, but that's alright with us. If, since we're making so much money, I, I, I want to make more, but let's lower tariffs a little bit more as well. Just 5%. It's not very much, but we'll see what happens. 7th power in the world. How about you guys? You guys have 14 for military square, which we did knock out a lot of you guys. And now they're 4th in the world for industry, which we lowered them a little bit. Oh, out of Charlotte. Very good job, guys. And procedure not very good. And we have rebels. What else is new, you know? Oh, we need to at least get... Horses and or planes. Because I think planes replace horses. I could be wrong about that, but... Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Jacobins. Um, the Greece, the Germany break their alliance. No. Everyone wants to be my ally. We're just so popular. It's nice to be popular, isn't it? Confederate anarcho-liberals. Oh, God. There you go. Hey, Nebraska, you can finally become a state. Nice. You're still nowhere near we, where we need you, though. Oh, West Galicia. Well, as long as they're not rising up near a capital, right? That's the most important thing. Any other places we can build infantry in? No. Yeah, that's fine. We already read that one before. Foreign cuisine pasta, which is good, 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 good. You guys looking okay? You know, you could use a horse, some recon too. Uh, that. It doesn't cost too much down there. Excelente. So when's the next time we go to war with Mexico? Because we're just going straight, straight to them. As you can tell, I'm not really doing a lot of sphering stuff, but the Dutch War, Flemish freedom, huh? And crisis. Can we bully people into giving up territory? Russia and the coming to France versus Germany and Poland. Ooh. Spare some, fight them here. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll do some more um, education stuff after this, so that'll be good. Egypt. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Nice. If I support them, what is Italy doing? Because we could get involved, but I don't really want to do this. Strongly inclined to support Germany. That's fine. Industrial slaves are fine with us. Slaves in Missoula? That's fine. That's fine as well. As soon as Italy supports them, we're going to do stuff over here too, so... All right, our total population is 66 million. Not bad. Let's go over here and do anti-rationalism. That'd be good. Got plenty of money. And dockyards. I keep forgetting about dockyards and such. Of course, we could improve uh, dockyards. Wow, we just lost all the money too now. That sucks. That really sucks.
Are we... Oh, they have wipes. That, that sucks. Whatever. Um, we're still making stuff. Bragging rights, nice. Well, that makes sense why you're not moving. But how about you guys? Oh, guys. Oh, I forgot. We... There we go. Alright, so that's the case. You guys need another guy right here, right? Yes, I did. You guys know what to do. You guys come down to here. And then... It sucks that you have to manually do this sometimes, but it is what it is. Uh... Oh, the horse. You guys need an extra horse here, so that's fine. You guys need another infantry, which we'll grab from up here, probably. No, oh, that's a plane! That's really cool, actually. There you go. Do not interfere in local businesses. No, sir. And soon enough, it will be... Um, 1904. So I'll probably extend the end date of this campaign. Just because I want to see the, a dead America, so... Cool. And I guess, yeah, it is a horse. Alright. That's fine, whatever. They'll deal with it. Oh, we need a horse for this one too, huh? So no more horses. Planes. Planes, planes, planes. Yankee. That's fine. South Bend, Fort Wayne. Oh, look at that. Or, I guess, no more horses. Planes, 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 planes. Elections are fine. New store, awesome. Oh, we need a uh, actual artillery piece. Okay. Stormtroopers would be really cool to have, but whatever. And Dixie, it's fine. Black Flags, the Socialist Party in one of our states has recently begun undergoing a distinct metamorphosis under the influence of its young, charismatic leader. While the party still maintains several core tenets of socialism, such as the emphasis on the work on the state's important role, it has also begun em embracing an aggressive, bombastic form of radical nationalism. Black Flags have begun waiting from the Socialist Party head HQ in one of our states, and while perfect with proto, it's clear that we're seeing the formation of a radical new front in the state's politics, fascism. Interesting development. We I don't want to lose plurality, so... Cool. Actually, angry against the government. What do we have? Oh. What, what do people want? Outlawed slavery. Well, we're not doing that here. Moralism. Uh, nope. 14 hour workday. They prefer acceptable safety regulations. I'll do that one. Every day needs to go down. So, not too bad. Oh, we're still getting a lot of immigrants here, too, which is very, very good. Uh, about 6,000. About the same as America. Where are all these guys heading to? What is the nationality like around here? Excellent. Wow. Texas is becoming much more Dixie. All of New Mexico is Dixie. Arizona is becoming even more Dixie. California is becoming more Dixie. Uh, don't lose prestige. And Minnesota is no longer t majority Texan. Wow. Up here, anything else? Not too much, but it's... It's definitely becoming more and more Dixie, which is cool. Excellent. Uh, talk of war... Whoa! While, while we're not at war, there are those who think it should be. They are right for the picking, and the CSA must strike now. We are strong. They're referring to one of our hated neighbors, who some jingoists feel we sh they should be a target for expansion. Permitting such talk will make us look aggressive to the international community, however. Though it may be an opportunity of which to take advantage. That's enough for the rebelizing. No. Okay, well, whatever. I don't really care. They will go to war with Mexico soon enough. A lot of Mexicans down here, which makes sense. Um, let them talk to announce them. A black abolitionist? Nope. Next one, we'll do the, we'll do the other way around. Wow. There's a lot of Ukrainians in Wisconsin. Oh, look at this. Cherokee and Yankee, huh? They're still a great power, huh? Alright then. More dividends. Thank you very much. Argentina, thank you. Hey, we're first to the pole! Our intrepid explorers have been first to raise the flag of the North Pole and brought glory and prestige for a great country. A glorious day for a science and nation. We're still third in the world, but that's fine. Uh, cool. And what do we need here? A political campaign. Uh, let's go fascist. Oh, no, no. Let's not go fascist. Let's do plurality stuff. We can go fascist just because we can, but we need more plurality. You guys need the planes, so. There you go. Yeah, you can use that. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Planes are going to take forever to make. Ah. There you go. Head on down to Raleigh, actually. Or over to Raleigh, I guess we should say. Alright. Almost done in some of these states, hopefully. Kaboom, nice. 52% is pretty good as well. And the conservative and reactionary parties won, which makes sense. And actually, what does the fascist party believe? Uh, 
Actually, I prefer the fascist party, to be honest. I really do prefer the fascist party. Right now, we get jingoism, even though we're pro-military. We get residency, which is okay, not great. We're still moralists. But we do get state capitalism, which I do kind of prefer. But at this point in the campaign, it's almost like it doesn't even matter, I suppose. Oof. Come on, Illinois, get some more bureaucrats in there. What are you guys, infantry? Oh, you're artillery. Oh, one of you guys needed artillery, didn't you? You guys needed it? Yeah, you did. There you go. Nice. I wonder who's going to spark World War One though. It's already 1903. First tractor in Washington is very good. Total population of 69 million. Nice. And going up by the thousands by the day. Hey, we got Lubbock. Great. That should make it easier to court uh, Lubbock, too. Well, we just court it, but, like, assimilate it. Look at all that. Oh, that's El Paso. Lubbock. Yeah, that's a bit nuts here. Dixie, Native American minor, Mexican, South... Oh, 75 are going to become Dixie. Irish are assimilating. The Japanese are assimilating. God, I love being Dixie. Oh, it feels so good. We got a lot of money, actually. Huh. There we go. We can spend all that money, too. Still building up there. The fleet's not looking too bad, but it could be a lot better. Oh, we need some forts. There you go, the Confederate. Wait, I knew, always knew this would be true. Great. We can build forts up, even though I don't think forts really do that much for us. Hey, more morale is great to have, though. Love more morale. Along with this, you say, hey, San Antonio will be a court place here. Nice. Truly it is. San Antonio, third Olympic Games. Yes, please. Look at all that. That's majority Texan, huh? Well, we'll see about that very soon. More research points will be very good. Yeah, having slavery, it does, definitely is not easy. But it gets more education. And we'll do maybe some more cultural stuff, some more commerce stuff. That'd be good. Oh, what did you do now? Wait, what? I'm not fighting Russia. Sorry, guys. Wait. German radicals. Oh, the reactionary. Okay. Cool. Sure, guys. You can come on through. We still need planes, 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 but we can't build any planes, planes, planes. Oh, quantum theory is very nice. Yeah. Small arms? For airplanes? Really? Oh, uh, sure, guys. Black abolitionist. I said we'd do this one, so that's fine with us. Uh, small arms, not bad. Enforce the curriculum. Yep. Oh, do okay, so... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Galveston Hurricane, which I have heard about it before. The Gulf of Mexico is no stranger to extreme wind and rain, but in 1900, a certain hurricane blew away any old records. The storm decimated Galveston, Texas, and reached the Canadian Maritimes before dissipating completely, in cost of lives and money. Few other disasters can compare, and this is an especially heavy blow for the coastal areas of Gulf and Texas. No man could prepare for this disaster, which is very, very true. And I want to end this episode at least going to a Mexico war with them one more time, because I want to continue going on and doing the... Well, I guess we think we need to do two more wars. One more wars, maybe? Maybe one more war? Just because we need to take them out. Because even though, even though we want to, the thing about this next one for uh, the continue to go in circle is that we get Central American as an accepted culture, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If you look at it right here. Oh, uh, that's Greece. Uh, precisely what happened. I don't know any more of our plurality. So we get... People won't like us as much, of course. We need some more infamy, too. Or infamy spread, but... We get a core in Jamaica, and Central American becomes added as a core culture, which uh, I'm not sure if I'm super happy about that, but... Oh, America has rebels. Of course, they are fascists, what do you expect? Uh, so we get about 13... Jesus, bad words. 13,000. Holy, 12,000. Um, there you go, we can do that one, that's fine. But yeah, there you go. Oh, Germany, what did you do? What did you do, Germany? Oh, no, 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 no. What did you do? Oh, you're fighting the Brits. Oh, for what? Oh, my goodness. They can still win, probably, actually. Ireland, Punjab. Oh, well, I guess these guys went communist. Sorry, Germany, I don't feel like it. They're in the Zentrum's part, which is not very good. Yeah, they're anti-military. But the the British went communist, pro-military. This is so weird. We didn't even have World War One yet. But the French went communist, as well as the British went communist. What is this? Like Kaiserreich or something without the Kaiserreich? Hey, Yugoslavia. Serbia formed Yugoslavia, which I need to play as Serbia to become Yugoslavia someday as well. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, are you guys fighting any other majors? 
No, it wouldn't have turned into a uh, great war either, so. And I'm like, eh. Oh. Get rid of the worst troublemakers. Until November. So we got a few months left. That's fine with us. And we'll go back to War of America and probably take out Confederate Free Corps. War veterans disgruntled with what they've seen as failures of capitalism and liberal democracy have formed a Free Corps. An ideological paramilitary organization ostensibly existing to protect the state homeland. While de facto promoting a fascist political agenda in one of our states. The Corps has begun flexing its muscles in local politics. Threatening several liberal politicians and maintaining a fairly intimidating uniform presence in the state. Let them prance about. That's fine. Let them prance about. Hey, oh, Nobel Prize in Chemistry. One of our illustrious scientists has been awarded this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. A great honor for the city of chemistry in our nation. Bismarck Electrified, great. Oh, there you go. Nice, that's good. Finally getting that one done. Oh my goodness, so many of these areas don't even have really good bureaucracy yet. Wow. Hey, this is becoming more, more Dixie too, though. That's really nice. O old canned food, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Distribute among the four. There you go. Foreign cuisine, uh, it doesn't matter to us too much. I want to go to war with these guys at least one more time before we end this episode. I want to get them done. Plumed its contentment, that's fine. Uh, sure, we'll call you into the war. San Jose's got a new place. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, we've we've got a bit, quite a bit of debt, huh? I didn't realize that. My bad. Uh, China, did you? Oh, did they westernize? They did westernize. Oh, God. Oh, we're still allied with them, right? Yeah, that's fine. Big game hunting. Lions, elephants, giraffes, buffalo, panthers, and rhinoceroses. The magic and attraction of Africa certainly lies to no small extent in its many and varied flora and fauna. Big game hunting has become a major attraction in bringing in tourists and tax revenue to all. A proposal service that we invite foreign dignitaries to take part, partake in the hunting. Well, this will certainly boost our international prestige. The locals might not be too happy about tourists trampling in their plantations. Uh, as much as I want to do that one, how's the land? Eh, I'm going to piss them off, why not? Look at prestige. Prestige is nice. I like prestige. Acquisition of Italian Persia. That is... That is something. I'm not going to interfere. Let them do what they want to. Rockford Electrified. Great. Um, Saloon Piccadilly, if you want to read about that, let's go ahead. People should be free to drink. I guess so. And we're getting close to go to war with Mexico. Getting close. How are they doing over here? Uh, British Lustig. Oh, they're beating up the Irish Navy. Germany looks really intimidating, I'll be honest. They are a republic. They got rid of the monarchy. That sucks, man. We're allied with... Oh, wow. That that really sucks over here. Wow. But we almost got social alienation, right? Hey, we're almost... We're kind of between 6 and 7 for that. Kaboom. We make no distinction of saving people. And I've kind of forgot about the military stuff, so... How are we doing? Well, we're barely making planes. Because you guys could use planes, right? Hey, there you go. Minoanian... Uh, Minoan excavation. The secrets of the ancient Minoan civilization await. Creed permits. The creed we may excavate at Gnosis. Great. Pro-slavery propaganda. Militancy and consciousness does go down. I like that one. There you go. We can afford the hit to our prestige, probably. It's fine. It's fine. Great. 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 Let's do... We really do need to do some naval stuff. Let's get some dreadnoughts. That'd be cool. And over here. Great. And you guys are done. Do we need more armies around here? Probably not, honestly. Both sitting down here anyways. And the next one needs another one of these guys. Cool. And we're about ready to go to war near the end of this episode. Revolt of the masses. Lots more plurality is nice, but less war exhaustion. That's pretty good. Oh, we need one of you guys, too, to get some planes. That's all right. All right. Acquire American Corps. That's it. Everyone will accept, except for nobody. I'll accept the Qing Empire, but whatever. You guys first. Nice. Alright. Should make our armies bigger. We have no screen show, which is probably a really bad idea. Hey, there we go. We can finally do it after we go back to war with Mexicans. Bloody strike, if you want to build that, please go right ahead. 
or RGO through, but thank you. Help out civilian spending and suffering. There you go. Oh, they already came through here. Uh, maybe that's not great for us. First tractor. Nice, nice, nice. Panama Canal dividends. Very cool. Durango, yes. Kind of hang up for now. Brilliant. Eh, head on down here because he can. I'm not going to attack on the mountains. That's, that's kind of suicidal. And the guy's getting created, which is fine with us. I wonder if we can ask for war operations as well. Because now we have less than 10 infamy. Oh, we actually lost. Oh, wait. We are not the one attacking. We didn't attack there. They attacked us. Yeah, I didn't send my guys to attack. I'll promise you that. No way. I wanted my guys to defend. Ah, so dumb. Well, Mexico, you got to pay for that then. Aren't we already doing this? Yeah. Come on, Mexico. Come on, right. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Oh, we'll do that one's fine. Good. We'll attack you next. There you go. Head down there. Drop them. Uh, Gruss aus Kiel? The Kiel Canal was finished in 1905 and took over 9,000 workers eight years to build. It connects the North Sea to the Baltic Sea and it's a length of 98 kilometers. The highest point slide 25 meters above sea level. Total excavation amounted to 100... Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a big number. 100 million cubic yards and costs about $40 million. Sufic sufficient postage. Well, they're the ones who want to attack us, so what do you expect? I bet you guys did not expect for us to take out part of Japan this episode. Me too. Hey, six in the world for industry, six in the world for military. Not bad. And we'll fix these guys up soon, or rather than later too. Oh wait, is that Italy? What is Italy helping us out? Not bad. There you go, that's nice. Head on over here, guys. Beat them up. They didn't want peace, so what do you expect? They refuse to give us what we demand. Hey. Thank God for the Italians. Cool. We got them, my friends. Uh, that's the case. I'm going to send you guys right. Well, technically, we got to get ready for America. So, we actually have quite a few armies already up here. Obviously, it's never going to be enough. Um, and then we'll send you right there to Lexington. And then we'll send you up to, well, close to here because we're not quite ready to push you out just yet. Neither are you. Go to Knoxville and you guys go to Evansville. You guys all have something to do except for you. And you guys come over to Columbia. Cool, not bad. And let's end this episode reading about this. Continue the Golden Circle. It is time to complete our control of the Gulf of Mexico and begin reaching into Central America. This step will bring us into increased conflict with the other great powers, but who are they to stand in the way of Dixie's destiny? We lose a lot of prestige, get a lot of infamy, and lose plurality, but what else is new? Alright, so the next one, extend the Golden Circle. The rest of Central America should enter the Confederacy, as we extend our rule over the Caribbean Sea. Our expansionism will attract an ever more international opposition, of course. So we need more cores, we lose even more prestige plurality, and get a lot more infamy. We get cores on San Luis Pelosti, just a lot of places overall. Uh, we get cores on Cayman Islands, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. Wow. But we did add for us a new population. Or culture. Not bad. Not bad. We got Central American as an accepted culture. So now we should be able to build a lot more. But I think that's going to end it us here for today, which we will need to get British Guatemala next time. I might, we might wait to go to war with America first, keep killing them, and get Germany on our side, and then we might actually invade Great Britain, but we'll see what happens, because their military score is extremely high. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, as we will continue expanding our 
continual growth towards the Golden Circle. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.